Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I figured I've got to do some reports today anyway, so why not hit record and uh, share another tip or a trick with you. This is uh, one of my common ones where I take a trace file, in this case in Wireshark, this would work with most protocol analyzers that can export to a uh, CSV file format. You'll find out what that means in a moment. In this case I'm using Wireshark and I'm going to take this stuff and shove it into Excel and show you a graph. So. First things first, we need to make sure the prep is done properly and like home renovations, uh, preparation uh, saves you a whole lot of time when you got to get to the real work. In this case, all you have to do is two things. Make sure you have the following columns, time and length, you should have them. Uh, for the time, make sure it's the time, the clock time, if you want that. If you want a relative time, then obviously you can change that. The key here though is, in most cases you want it per second. And here's your second indicator. You don't want milli or, or micro. So where do you change that? File time display format and I want the time of day again I'm not using a calendar to measure throughput otherwise you'd have other problems in life <laughs> and we have time of day here we are and we want seconds so as soon as that's all set up we end up with this screen now here's the easy part file export file comes up with the screen here uh, if you do have a filter, a display filter, you might want to pay attention to this difference. In my case, I don't, so I don't care. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to type uh, small file test.csv, because that's what I want. CSV format, a comma separated value summary. There it is. Now, as soon as you do that, you'll notice this goes gray here, which is fine. It's perfectly fine. And I'm going to hit save button. That's it. Ta-da! I'm going to come over here to my browser. I'm going to double click on my CSV file, which launches Excel by default, and there's everything. So here's what we want Excel to do. We want it to take these bytes, the length, which is in bytes, and we want Excel to find out when the time changes. For example, see that? So when the 24s change to 28, I want Excel to add up 60 and 60. So that would be 120 bytes for that one second interval. Down here, we'd have another 120 bytes for the 28th second. That's it. That's all we're going to ask Excel to do. So, it's real simple. I'm going to say this out loud more for myself than you. When there's a change in time, I would like to sum the length. That's it. So, data, subtotal. Whenever there's a change in time, I would like to sum the length. That's it. So uh, if you paid attention over here, you've got some other things you can do, like count would be how many packets per second, and that kind of thing, but we're going to stick with some. Okay, done. You can see i got a 1, 2, 3 up in the corner all of a sudden. i got this bar and this minus sign, all this cool stuff going on, and we're going to hit the number 2. As soon as you do that, you'll notice that it's all subtotals. See? Quick note, people always ask me this, so I might as well just show it to you. I'm going to hit the C column header, and what I'm going to do is add some columns commas, there they are, and I'm going to get rid of some decimal points, there you are. The other big thing is people don't like this word total in their graphs, so how do they get rid of that? Well, search and replace, control H, find, and this is key, space, hit the space bar, and the word total, it's not case sensitive, doesn't matter, replace it with nothing, replace all. Now if you didn't hit that space on total, if you just typed the word total without the space, you would wipe out the subtotal, because the formula is subtotal, you would actually wipe that total part of the formula out and mess everything up, all right? So please be careful. And there you are. There's your time, and there's your size. So now, quite simply, select your stuff, insert, your line, done. That's it. That's all there is to it. So if you want to take a trace file, bring it into Excel, um, you're pretty well done. I've also done this using um, OpenCalc as well on my website, so if you want to use some open source stuff, you can do it with that. Hope that helped. Have a good day. Bye for now.